Hello. I just wanted to show how I do my first steps when I come to a function or a menu item which I don't understand at first sight. The first example is uh, the keys menu here. I open this menu with a G shift and um, first thing is you understand probably nothing. What is this arrow plus NRM? I had no idea. But what I did was the following. I took my PC and I visited the C47 calculator page. And there we have a link on docs I have opened this before in this tab here and you see that there is an overwhelming lot of PDF files for the most part. There are also uh, spreadsheets, but uh, the most documents are in PDF format. And now you see these uh, I don't know how many documents and don't know what, what, uh, what's the matter here. So my tip is to do the following. We have a root section, an application setting and a catalog setting. And this is surprisingly short, but it is the way to go. So when you start exploring your C47, it's a good idea to visit this place at first. And what we have here is especially the last two items, a function catalog and a menu catalog. So let's look into them. This one here is the menu catalog. And here we have the function catalog. So we had the problem that we didn't know about plus NRM and this uh, little arrow. So let's have a look whether we can solve this mystery. So we are in the menu catalog and we are in a menu, the keys menu. So let's step to the keys menu first which is here. And then we have a description. So let's look what this, um, this menu has to offer. Layouts, ribbons, and special key assignments. And, and then uh, in brackets, selection of a non-default layout sets user mode. Selection of the default layout, in brackets, C47, clears user mode. Switching layouts deletes all keyboard user assignments. Use save to back up. Okay, that's not exactly what we want to know, but at least we have now an idea what this keys menu is about. And um, when we look further down this PDF and these are only three pages so the search wouldn't take too long. I could use the search function but that's not necessary in this case because here in this row we find exactly um, the, the text of this menu item. And what does it say? It's a special key assignment. Special key assignments to Sigma plus key in normal mode. So not in user mode or anything else. And now we know what's, what's um, the purpose of this menu item. So let's check it out. I will now select this uh, 
this menu item. And I'm presented with a lot of options. This one option, this is uh, the default, means that this key here, the sigma plus key, does exactly what it should be, uh, should do, sorry. Uh, it collects your pairs of x, y uh, data, uh, just as you would expect from sigma plus on other calculators, right? But what you can do here is, for example, you can say, I don't need statistics, I hate statistics, so let's make this a program button. So, okay, so press this option here, leave the menu, this one too, and also this one, and now we press Sigma Plus. And ta-da! We are in the program editor. So that's quite nice, right? So when we want to change this, do a G-Shift or double-click on this yellow button. Oops, I, no, I can do it within the running program editor. And I again press this uh, menu item and I assign Sigma plus again to its basic function. Come on. Is this a bug? I don't know. I leave this stuff behind and do another attempt. Now it works. So maybe it should not interfere with the program editor. But we have just solved this, so no problem. Okay, I have set this option back to its default. Leave these menus. And when I now press Sigma Plus, I can enter my first data point, or have entered it. So. And uh, if I wish, I can enter another data pair now. So we have two data points now. Okay, you see, with this function in the, in the keys menu, you can manipulate the way this button works. Here are lots of other functions, but I don't want to uh, go into this in detail now. What I wanted to show is how we relatively easily easy um, could find uh, what this uh, menu item does as it is written here in this document. Okay, so next thing I wanted to uh, demonstrate is, let's say you're a person which often um, does probabilistic uh, calculations and needs a factorial often. So I had exactly this experience that I wanted to assign the factorial um, function to one of my menu items here. And I looked into the catalog. So let's do this functions. And what I knew from the HP 41 and from other calculators, there must be something starting with an F. So I press execute for the F here. And we see a Fibonacci function and a fix option we can set on and flags. So let's see, factorial, nothing. And then I remembered there's this glorious uh, homepage with the documents. And uh, I went to this document here, 
which has 18 pages. And uh, as far as I understand it, it has all functions in it. So before I start to read 18 pages and look for something like factorial, I thought use this search function as I did before. You can see it here, maybe you can recognize it. And I sought for a fact and let's do it. So first jump. I, I, here we have factorization. That's not what we need. And now we are here. And this is our factorial function. And you see, it's nothing starting with an F. It's X exclamation mark. That's it. So I think that these PDFs, which are meticulously and within, I assume, weeks of work, have been created and edited again and again. I can't overestimate how valuable these lists are, especially the two lists we have just had a first look at. And uh, this is the, the tip I wanted to give you. So don't miss this. There are other ways to find more information about the C47, but the starting point in most cases should be here. Yeah, so I wish you all uh, fun and productivity with your C47. See you next time. Thanks.